it ever happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can't believe this. I mean, yeah. it's, it's I didn't know she it's, was that kind of person. She is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the one to bear bad as she is. And I don't lie on people. And I would love to meet your wife yeah, one day. Yeah. I mean, if you're ready. But anyway, but, I'm I mean, genuine people. This she reminds me of right you. Here. He'll tell you. Will, <laughs> what's really your name? Really what's your name? He looks like he's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's driving, he's driving. What's, what's your name? Chris. 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 Nice that's to my, meet you. Glenda. And that's Glenda. my friend, Willie. Willie? Yeah, Willie. Willie. He's nice just my Chris. friend. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he's just my friend. Willie <laughs> really is like me. I'm yep. kind of anti-social. He is too. He is too. He's he kind of anti-social. I'm just going I'm, on. I'm anti-social and friendly. Yeah, he's friendly too. But he don't know people. He's cautious mm -hmm. like that. And me too. Very like, not like her. I'm giving. He's very not like her. I see. You don't like her at I all. See. Yeah. I see. Yeah. 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 I see. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be, I need to be more aware of my surroundings too, as you are yeah. educating me on. Yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. Because yeah, I've given, given, given to her. But she imagine. never made a pass at me though. She hasn't? No. I'm shy. But maybe I'm not her type. Maybe I'm too big for her or something. I don't know. She told me you had had this surgery. I said, he, he lost a lot when she said he had this surgery. So he looks really good. So maybe I'm getting down to that size. <laughs> be careful. Look, be careful. <laughs> Cause be I was, careful. I was big. She shall go away. She don't care about you married, but we already know that he's married and the other mm. guy she's married and my success when I was married. Wow. She, she don't care about you married. And that's what you you know, who wants a person that wanna date married men? Okay, what I'm that, saying? that means that you're not wanted really. You're just used. Thank you. You're gonna be a used person. You're gonna be a used person. You're gonna be. You are always gonna be the other woman. Other woman. But she likes to be back. She feel like she's in control. She got it like that. She got it like that. Wow. I I never come between something that God has joined together. You you, you get yeah, me? I got I you. Want to come between that? I got because you. What God, what God has joined together, let no man put aside. Put, put aside. Right, right, right. So a person that try to do that, that's the devil. That's a Jezebel. Whatever way you look, that's, that's ugly. ugly. That's ugly. That's why she's so mad. That's why she's a vicious. Je that's why she's so mad. And I'm trying to play peacemaker. Like maybe it's just the liquor or whatever, but it's liquor and then some. And then some. Exactly. Exactly. That's what you deal with in life, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. I'm gonna get in trouble. Right. <laughs> I hope not. Trouble. Don't get in trouble. Don't I'm gonna get in trouble, trouble with my wife if I go now. You better nice go. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You better go. But I appreciate talking to you. Please don't judge me. But I'm, I'm about to leave with this. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I think Brendan knew I was going to leave with it. You deserve it. Hey, I'm sorry. Good night. Good night. All right. Nice to meet you. Again. Because I've seen you around. I always see you. Yes. And nice to meet you, too. Good night. Good night. I'm so sorry. I was figuring out how to get this out. I just walked out with it.
Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out how to get that out. Denise got in a physical fight with a lady in there. Oh, they were okay. swinging. Oh, wow. I take I part of it. I don't see, uh, cause I had, I had inboxed her. Ooh. I said, is there anything I can say? Is it scratch for you? And then she said, she said, she said, no. She said, I, she said, I had to get out there cause I was going to whoop that bitch ass or something. Oh, Christine. No, something. she wasn't going to, they were swinging. But was they it was, a white or black lady? Black, a black lady. Oh. Oh my God. I can't oh believe God. that this happened in my presence. What's this lady, she was talking to, you know, Larry was out there. Uh-huh. And this black lady, this other black lady out there was talking about Larry's ex-wife. Oh, okay. You know, because apparently she supposed to have been a good lady or whatever. The Larry guy that's with Denise, uh -huh. these are the, the kids of his wife. Oh, oh. Okay. So she works with her. This uh -huh. other black lady that was there. Uh -huh. She works with Larry's wife or oh, ex wife. Okay. Larry's ex wife. Oh, okay. And they was talking about how good of a person she was and all this other stuff. Oh, okay. And that just lit Denise up. She said, I don't want to hear y'all talk about how good a person this bitch is. Uh -huh. Fuck that bitch. She said, I'm tired of hearing what you got to say and what you got to say. Wow. So then the, the black lady jumped up and said, excuse me, you don't disrespect me like that. I'm talking about somebody I know. Right. I a friend that I know, that right. I work with. Right. If you have a problem, you need to take it up with Larry and that woman. You don't need to right. take it up with me because I just work with this woman. Right. And we was just talking about her because he was surprised to know that I worked with her. And I was good friends with her. But you don't need to be calling me because Denise was calling her all kinds of bitches and everything. Wow. But I think, but 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 with the lady, and I explained what, that's what took me so long. Because I explained, they put Denise out. Yeah. I'm Seth came and put her out. Yeah. Because Denise was like, she snapped. Yeah. But Denise... And, and and I was explaining to the other lady that was there, I was explaining uh -huh. to her that Denise was not calling her a bitch. Yeah. Denise was calling the ex-wife a bitch. Yeah. And she assumed that Denise was calling her a bitch. Yeah. And a hoe and whatever. Yeah. And I told her, I said, no, I said the way I heard it was Denise was calling Larry's ex-wife a bitch and a hoe. Mm -hmm. And then she did turn around and say she tired of hearing you and you and him talk about her. So what the lady, the, the other lady there assumed that she was calling her bitches and hoes. But Denise never called her a bitch or a hoe. Oh, wow. She called the ex-wife a bitch and a hoe. Yeah. And that's what kicked everything off. Because the oh. other lady jumped in her face and said, you not going to sit here and disrespect me like this because I know so and so. So, da, 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 da. Right. so Denise was like, who you think you talking to? I wasn't even trying to talk about you. Blah, 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 blah. So Denise was right. Yeah. But... The wrong part was having a confrontation about that in the first place in a yeah. setting where you know you're going to be kicked out of if you're causing disturbance. Right, exactly. Denise didn't care. Right. Denise was, like, fucked up. Uh -huh. But everybody in there was fucked up, right. including me. Right. But I wasn't that fucked up to where, right. you know, because I got a high tolerance for alcohol, right, you know. drinking, too, and stuff. It's drinking on top of all of that. You know, and Seth right. came out and asked me. He said, what is going on, Chris? He said, I know you're not involved in this. Right. <laughs> and yeah. I laughed and said, you know I'm not, Seth. I said, I'm just in the middle of it. Right. And Seth was like, Chris, tell me from the beginning to the end what is the hell is going on. Right. And I told him exactly what I'm telling you. Right. And then he was like, look at what alcohol can do to a person. And I started laughing or whatever because... Uh -huh. I'm like, alcohol can mess a person up. Yeah. And make people piss make people misunderstand situations yeah. to the fullest. Denise yeah. is already jealous of that ex-wife of his. Um, she do not all she already don't like her. Right. So with them talking about her in her presence, talking about what kind of good person she is and all this other stuff, really just made her livid. And I was like, oh, my God. 
the, the, the lady, when the lady got her face, is that when she hit her or something? Denise swung and slapped the lady in the face. And then oh, the lady okay. swung and slapped her in the stomach. Oh, okay. So Seth said, I'm going to have to call them, uh, security down here and they're going to call the police. Denise uh -huh. fled the scene. Denise said, I'm not waiting for nobody. So she yeah. left out. Oh, okay. So then Seth canceled security oh, because the okay. other party wasn't there. And then he yeah. told the other lady, she, he said, you can stay. He got her another Merlot. Oh, okay. He said, you can go ahead on and stay because the way that I understand everything is that the person who fled the scene was the aggressor. Oh, yeah. And Seth say, Chris, he's saying, I'm going to you, Chris. He yeah. said, I'm sorry for putting you in the middle of this, but I'm going to ask you, who would you say was the aggressor? Because right. he said, I need to ask somebody who is not involved in the situation. Right. And he said, Chris, that unfortunately, that's you. Uh, so he said, who was the aggressor? Mm -hmm. And I hated to say it, but I said, Denise was. Oh, yeah. And he was like, true. okay. He said, that's what I thought. Because... If I'd have said that the other lady was the aggressor too, they would have put her out too. Yeah. I ain't want to do that, especially if I was in her face too. Because oh. she was sitting right there looking at yeah. me. Oh. And she came over to me and said, thank you so much. She oh, thanked me. The other lady? The oh. other lady. Because oh. Denise was gone. Right, right. Denise said, Larry, bring your ass on. See, I heard it. he was talking on. And Larry was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go to. He said he had to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to work. Oh, boy. And now he's going to have to listen to her all night. He said he wished that lady wouldn't even brought up the other lady. Oh, yeah. That's what he was telling me before they left. He was like, Chris, I wish that that lady wouldn't even said that lady's name. Yeah. He said that lady's name is like an igniter. Right. Like a fire igniter, like gasoline on a fire. Yeah. And he was like, I wish that she wouldn't even talked about that lady. Yeah. But I mean, the lady that. didn't realize that that was going to be an igniter. The lady right. didn't realize that Denise right. was so sensitive about the lady, uh, the, uh, his ex, ex his wife. His wife. Yeah. But she realized it now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Denise just went berserk. She was like, I'm tired of hearing about how good a person this bitch is and whatever. If she's such a good bitch, why ain't Larry with her now? Blah, 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 blah. Which is true. Larry say, and Larry looked over at me before they, before she scooped him up. Larry looked over at me and said, she found a man that she loved that she liked better than me. So she left me. Uh -huh. But she still got my three kids. Right. He said, that's why I have anything to do with her. He said, I don't sleep with her. I don't do none of that with her. She don't want me like that. Right. That's what he was telling me. Because right. I was the only listener. Right. Person of, of reason, basically. Right. And I was like, I understand, Larry. I said, just take Denise home. Let her sleep off the alcohol. And she'll be better in the morning. I said, just take her home and let her sleep it off. Because that's the only thing. You ain't going to be able to talk to a person that's heavily intoxicated she is going to be a brick wall right now right. she ain't going to want to hear nothing you got to say so I say just take her home don't say nothing to her let her sleep it off then you can talk it out after the alcohol is not in her system I say if you try to do it now it's just going to get worse you see that what something on fire where up to that the way to the you right. see the fire uh, I see it mm -hmm. yeah it's a big fire too yeah. Yeah, but I told her I, I told him I said don't even try because he was telling he was like Denise you need to so and so so and so so and so and she was like fuck that I don't need to do shit I just need to know that you are talking about this bitch blah 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 and she did you like this and and I said Larry take her home because that was her, that was her ride home Right. take her home calm her down let her sleep it off and then talk it out. I say, yeah. if you try to say anything to her tonight, it's going to be talking to a brick wall. Because yeah. I say, if you trying to talk to somebody that's heavily intoxicated, it's no need to. Yeah. yeah we just grown for that. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't do that. And, and you have to understand people have a past. And he said, Chris, you so right. He said, I'm not going to say nothing to her. And he didn't. He just zipped his mouth and he walked away. She said, Larry, bring your ass on. 
and he just got up and I told I say I told him I said Larry remember what I said he said I remember and he zipped his mouth and walked on out with her